Hello, friends. I have another Eric Carl book, but this time he is not the author of this story. Bill Martin Jr. is. He is the illustrator, though. You can tell, you kind of, kind of get familiar with Eric Carl's artwork, and you can tell when he is the illustrator just by looking at the pictures, can't you? Remember, this was Eric Carl, and sometimes he is the author of both. But this time, he's just the illustrator. But it's really cool to see. And you might recognize this book, Panda Bear, Panda Bear, What Do You See? And he also has illustrated other books like Brown Bear, Brown Bear, Polar Bear, Polar Bear. And again, you can see that he uses paint for his illustration. Panda bear, panda bear, what do you see? I see a bald eagle soaring by me. Bald eagle, bald eagle, what do you see? I see a water buffalo charging by me. Water buffalo, water buffalo, what do you see? I see a spider monkey swinging by me. Spider monkey, spider monkey, what do you see? I see a green sea turtle swimming by me. Green sea turtle, green sea turtle, what do you see? I see a macaroni penguin stretching by me. Macaroni penguin, macaroni penguin, what do you see? I see a sea lion splashing by me. Sea lion, sea lion, what do you see? I see a red wolf sneaking by me. Red wolf, red wolf, what do you see? I see a whooping crane sneaking by me. Whooping crane, whooping crane, what do you see? I see a black panther strutting by me. Black panther, black panther, what do you see? I see a dreaming child watching over me. What is the dreaming child? It's actually the moon, isn't it? Dreaming child, dreaming child, what do you see? I see, let's see if we can remember all the animals. A panda bear, a bald eagle, a water buffalo, a spider monkey, a green sea turtle, a macaroni penguin, a sea lion, a red wolf, a whooping crane, and a black panther, all wild and free. That's what I see. And the interesting thing about the animals that he chose for this book is um, that they're endangered species. That means there's not a lot of them left in the world. And it says, here's a little note at the beginning of the story that tells us a little bit about endangered species. We are losing our animals. More than 5,000 animal species are endangered or threatened worldwide. That means that they are in danger of disappearing forever. To safeguard these animals, there are over 3,500 protected areas 
in the forms of parks, wildlife refuges, and other re reserves around the world. This book features 10 of these endangered or threatened species. We can all help them. We can all help save them by spreading the word about conservation. So that means helping these animals. So all of these animals that were in the story are endangered animals, or endangered species. All of these. That would be very sad if we didn't have them around anymore, wouldn't it? There are some animals that we used to have, and then they became extinct, which means they're all gone. There are no more around. One of the things is dinosaurs. They used to be around, but now they're not. And if you look, I wanted to point out that the macaroni penguin has this cool hair on the top. It's in danger. But the macaroni penguin, here's a better picture, a clearer picture. It's kind of funny, doesn't it? A lot of hair on top of the head. Very nice. And one of the things you can think about when you're reading this is that we use our senses, one of our five senses, which is to see. What do you see? Some of the other books that we did uses other senses, like what do you hear? Hear, see, two different.